Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Zelda Master and last time we investigated the shipyard and found nothing. So now we have to leave and continue on with our adventure. According to Skipper, if we head over to the Pirate Stronghold, which he marked on our map, uh, which you can't actually see unless we exit this area, or can I zoom out of my map if it allows me? Oh no, I can only look at the shipyard, but if we do look on our map outside of the shipyard, you'll notice that there will be another area to investigate, and it's like the last area, so yeah, this is the end. If we don't find any more clues, then we're kind of boned when it comes to looking for the lost ship, because so far we haven't found much, so yeah, but the reason why I'm still here on the shipyard is because I want to do something because I don't really want to return here, I mean, this whole area is completely bare and I do like the minecart system, you know, the theme park, I guess, <laughs> that they have going on here, and if you speak to this Goron, after I believe you make it all around, so once the Goron knows you can ride minecarts and you're good at it, he is going to offer you something, so yeah, once you make a full spin around the, uh, Shipyard go ahead and speak to him again before you leave and he's gonna want to have a little fun So what is that so got your attention eh? Let me explain. Okay. What is it? This here's a racetrack against time scream across the uh, Finish line as fast as you can. Yeah, that's what you need to do because it's gonna be a really scary and fast race uh, That we're gonna have to take on and I, I don't really know if I can do this first try, but I'm gonna try It's not that hard. It's just you know as I like to complain a lot the Wiimote motion controls tend to screw me up and I really feel like that's the reason so yeah if we have 20 rupees we can easily play this uh, roller coaster thing or the Ricky coaster I believe is what he calls it so let's go with heart stopping not scary we want to have an actual heart attack with how scary this ride is gonna be I mean that's how intense this is you know so yeah let's go <laughs> all right let's see how well we do so you're not really racing against him it would have been cool if you got to race against him but there's only one track um, what we're doing is we're racing against his time, I believe, which I want to say 60 to 65 seconds on heart stopping. And by doing this, he will reward you with something pretty helpful. So, yeah, the reason why I'm going to try to do this as fast as I can and as efficiently is so I can get it. So I don't want to use the stop button uh, or the slow down button because that's going to slow me down and it might put me at a bad score. So... What's best to- no, no, whoa, okay, the minecart was tilting because I wasn't holding it properly. Uh, but, yeah, I need to just constantly lean in the right direction and it, I'll be golden, but sometimes I overshoot the way I lean my Wiimote, like the direction I lean it towards, so I feel like that might end up screwing it up. Like, if you do it upside down, it just goes haywire, so I have to be really careful not to do a 180, but to do like a 90 degree turn, I guess, with my Wiimote. It's complicated, man, because- I'm so aggressive, and I don't even think I'll make it in time if we don't hurry up because I'm pretty sure you're only given, like, 60 seconds or something. Alright, so let's slow down here because I'm not going to fall, and this is the end. We're already at a minute. Okay, I guess we lost. I don't think we made the time. There has to be a couple shortcuts that I completely forgot about that would have helped us out, but yeah, best time was... 10 minutes. I guess that's the neutral time. Like, there's no way you're going to go ahead of that. And if you do, you suck. But yeah, you finished. Sweet. I know you could do better than that. You were just warming up. Uh, the secret is getting right. Uh, just getting until it right. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we didn't earn anything but a refund on this. So, I guess we just have to play it again or come back soon or whatever the case is. Alright, let's just do that again, my friend. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take this turn because I feel like this is way quicker. Uh, at least I hope so. Or not, or it is, or it's not. I can't tell. It's really fast, though. It's a faster route, I feel. I feel like I can do this now if I just concentrate really hard. It's going really quickly, but I don't want to stop. I just need to keep going. Don't slow down, Link. Don't slow down. Don't even bother slowing down. There's no point. This is all about speed. <laughs> okay, wait. Hold my Wiimote. My Wiimote almost fell out of my hand. All right, we have a couple more seconds, and there we go. I think I, I did it, right? It was, uh, I want to say, only 65. There's no way he expected you to do it under a minute. You finished. <gasps> you set a new record. Great work. Yeah, I did. But, wow, that's unbelievable. Even I cannot go that fast. Oh, God, we did it. Here you go. I found this treasure right here on this very island. So for a heart-stopping track, you get a heart. Because most likely your heart stopped. He's going to have to replace it. Because, yeah, that was a scary track. All right, took me longer than expected. But we ended up prevailing. So I'm pretty... Uh, happy with that. 
Um, I believe I can take the shortcut over. Oh no, it takes me back here. I thought I was I would have been at the midpoint checkpoint thing and then take this rail down, but I guess not. It just respawns you back at where you originally played the mini game. But yeah, okay, so we did it. That wasn't bad. It took me way longer than I expected because this was supposed to be a small little, uh, you know, thing I cover before I actually get to the meat of the episode. And you know, this was like the, uh, I want to say, the appetizer to the entree of the episode. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. But let's just go ahead and speak to Skipper. So for yourself, yeah, blah blah blah. Be a pirate stronghold. Yeah, that's the plan. All right, let's go and set sail then, and head straight to it. So anchors away. Alright, so our plan at this episode is to make our way to the pirate stronghold now that we have this piece of heart and we don't have to worry. Uh, so this is pretty scary. The pirate captain is a mechanical maniac. He's got no shortage of evil underlings too. I never wanted to lay eyes on him again, but if we want to take back the ship, then we have no choice. Yeah, I'm, well not you necessarily. I have to do all the dirty work, but okay. Uh, so the pirate stronghold is right here. We'll Set a beacon and set sail straight to it. So tighten up whatever you humans have instead of bolts and let's get going. What would that be? I guess my shoes. Let's tighten up our shoes or let's buckle our pants. Uh, you know what? That would be it because my pants always fall off. I, I don't know why. I just For some reason I have a size bigger than my actual size and it sucks. When you're carrying something, or you, your hand always has to be around your pants. I don't know why I don't just buy a belt. I always forget to wear a belt. Well, I do have a belt, but I just yeah forget to wear one. So, it's my fault. But I don't care. I don't. I don't know why I'm mentioning it when, when I don't really care about it. But here we are in the pirate stronghold. It looks amazing. It's a giant, weird-looking mechanical ship, and I, I'm really fascinated to see how this looked in water when it wasn't all rusty. So this is easily as scary as I thought it would be. But if you think about it, they should all be dead. Yeah, exactly. The only reason I'm about, I'm up and about like this is because of time shift crystal on the boat. So I have nothing to worry about. I feel better now, Link. And now it's time for you to go look for my ship. All right here, of course. Okay, cool, man. Let's get going. All right, first thing we need to do is check out this. We got the pirate stronghold. We can fly. We can save. We can do all of that cool stuff. I'm sure that's exciting. We got keys. I don't want to mess with them because I'm pretty sure these are electric keys. And I'm not a fan of getting electrified. But here is a door. It's, I want to say it's kind of out of the reach. Like out of what you'd see once you head inside. It's like, I don't know. It took me forever to find it first time around. But now it's like embedded in the back of my head because how long it took me to find this freaking door. Cause it's like just hidden in the corner. But yeah, here we are. So head down and master, please take a look. What at what? Oh, that. What is that? This device looks like it's meant to be hold a time shift stone, but there is not one currently installed. Oh crap! Do we have to install one? There's a 95% chance that the same device, the same type of device, this is the one we encountered in Lanero Mine. As sign as. Signs indicate that the time shift crystals were used in this facility as a kind of power source. No way. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep that in mind and continue through here. I really love the music here. I can't think of another area where you hear this, like, interesting theme. It reminds me a lot of Banjo-Kazooie. Mainly Gobi's Valley. Like, it has this Gobi's Valley, like, feel to it. Now, I don't know if you, if you haven't played the game, you can always search the music, but... I believe it's like the indoor sections of Gobi's Valley where it has this weird spooky feel to it. I don't know, my memory might be wrong, like I might be thinking of something else, but that's the feeling I'm getting from here. So yeah, quickly kill, okay, nice, sweet, come on, ah, just die, and then let's avoid this guy, let me grab this tail, thank you very much. So we got a little lizard tail, but this is like our third or fourth one. We've been finding a lot recently. Our eighth? What the heck? Okay, that's double than I thought. Oh, and I didn't really see you attacking, so it's kind of... No, no. Ugh. I'm actually trying to pay attention to where they're blocking and counter with uh, with an attack, but kind of went haywire. And <laughs> what happened was my headphone cord got tangled with my Wemo and Nuncha cord, like what hooks them together. And yeah, that's why I kind of messed up there, but okay. Uh, hi there, let's just kill you and then quickly uh, get going. We can make it, yes, okay. Do I need that heart? Yes, I do. Let's uh, 
to go ahead and snatch that. Wait. And, yeah. and perfect. <laughs> I love doing that. It, it's really time consuming, but it's, it looks really stinking cool, so I don't care. Man, I love the the um, the um lighting on Link. Like, the lighting actually changes so much. It just makes me wonder how amazing this game would have looked in, uh, in higher resolution, because everything is so pixely. Even on YouTube, I can't make it look better because the Wii resolution is just so bad. But yeah, Master, please take a look. This object is called a Time Shift Orb. I can conjecture that. Unlike the Time Shift Stones we've seen, this device was designed to carry, to be carried around and installed in different locations. <gasps> That's really cool, I can hold it. Let's do it. <gasps> and now I have the power of time in my hands. Literally, I can go back in time just by walking around. So stinking cool. Now, normally what you'd do is you'd walk back and you'd open up the door, but sadly, yeah, there's... Back in the past, there was some sort of electrical barrier. And then, in the present, there is these weird spikes. Luckily, in the past, they didn't exist, so they go away. So, yeah, you're gonna follow a bunch of weird spikes to open up the path with this time shift orb, and you can't backtrack. Because you got those weird electrical things. So, yeah. Not too fun, but I'm gonna ignore these guys. Because, to me... They're pretty unnecessary, and I'm gonna attack. Aw, oh, come on, they actually made it. Okay, that sucks. Also, my item was out. Why is it out? That doesn't make sense. Okay, let's, uh, if I can whip. Can I whip? Can I whip these guys? Why is Link doing that? Okay. I don't even think whipping will do much. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Okay. I'm just gonna take out my sword and beat the crap out of these guys, or I'll die to them. You know, whatever works, honestly. I'm fine with either. They can, they can kill me 100 to 0 if they want me. But, there we go. Okay, so that's a secret. You know, you just place it down ahead of time so it doesn't block the path. And that way you can get yourself a nice, ooh, a silver rupee. Not bad. Okay, that will make up for a lot of the cash I spent on that minecart game. Because, yeah, I spent more than I should have. But in this room, I'm pretty sure it's straightforward. I'm pretty sure this whole area is really straightforward. Like, there isn't much- <gasps> Ooh, an ancient flower. Okay, I could- Yeah, I could definitely use that. But you can find a lot in here. So I have to keep an eye out. I mean, I do have a lot on me. I have a lot of treasure because I'm not upgrading anything, which is good. I think- I think that's smart. That way I can just upgrade a bunch of stuff immediately instead of look around and be like, Aw, that's not- something I can obtain. And the only reason I jumped down there is because I thought I saw another ancient flower, but I guess not. Uh, my eyes deceived me, but yeah, pillars existed in the past, or these weird walkway thingies, and now they don't. They somehow sunk down and became just sand like everything else. So what you need to do is you just need to walk around like this until you make it to this area. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's interesting platforming to say the least. So, yeah, let's go ahead and set this down because, yeah, you could tell electrical barrier will appear if I continue moving forward, then run around, and... Remove this barred switch, or barred door, I guess, by pressing the switch or pulling it. Now we can continue through here, so, yeah. I, I like this, you know? It's, it's small, puzzly, in a sense, and, uh, I don't know, to me it's just really interesting, so, yeah. Okay, I'm pretty sure this room is completely useless, aside from this chest. So you need to place it down like this, because if you go any further, yes, these... <laughs> Pillars will appear from the ground, blocking your pathway on both sides, so this is the way to do it. It's, uh, I want to say it's an interesting puzzle, because it's like, it's super obvious, but you might not think of it immediately, and the only reason why I say that is because pretty sure I didn't for this time around, because usually the first time I play games, uh, especially Zelda, I like to just beat it myself and like even if I don't know what to do, you know, like how I make guides, I normally wouldn't look up a guide. I like kind of just figuring out everything on my own. I don't know why. I'm just like that. Are they trying to eat my time shift crystal? Really? Okay, so there are two ways to do this. There's either up, oh, there's that where you accidentally hit your beetle so you can't snap snap them or it's this. Okay. Wait. There we go. And that and that and that and that and that and this and this is Come on! There we go. Okay. <laughs> just want to kill him because I hate... I, I really hate how they can just block all of your attacks. They're so much more difficult now. Alright, just pick this... Okay. Come, now I'm not going to die here. It's, uh... I feel like I'm doing the whole mentality with, uh... At least when I play like games like, I want to say... 
Let's see. Oh god, I don't want to fight these guys. I am regretting all of this. What am I doing here? Okay, let's place this time shift orb outside because if you step on the switch, I'm pretty sure it locks you out or locks you in. But it opens up that door we need to head to. So, as long as the time shift crystal is outside of the door, but not close enough to where this electrical barrier would appear, you just go ahead and use this giant block to press the switch down, and then you walk around from the other area to re-pick up your time shift crystal. It's, a uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, if you ask me. <laughs> but... Oh god, okay, no, we're good. <laughs> I was like, did I not place it close enough? I thought I did. I just want to maneuver through here, though, because I'm not really a fan of whatever these enemies are. Oh, and there's this room. Hmm. Yeah, I'm playing all this off of muscle memory, but I mean, let's be honest, it's it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, so there we go, we got ourselves an evil crystal now. We can we can continue. I don't think there's anything else we need to collect. I just want to get this place done with so we can start looking for the uh for the next area within the game. Okay, so place it down like this. The reason why I say that, and trust me, you're gonna wanna do that. Okay, oops. Well, not that horribly. Place it down. Can I please pick this up? Place it down like this. There we go. Alright. Now you can exit this area, but as well, find a switch that existed in the past and pull it. So you can open up that door. But I think it was already open. It looked like it was already open, which is kind of weird. It shouldn't have been. But yeah, okay. So now let's quickly run. And pick this. Pick pick this guy up and start getting electrocuted again and then run really quickly now he's dead forever and we're here we have to fight more enemies god dang it okay I'm so well prepared uh, let's quickly grab this and then my heart's so low and I already know what that means no 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 don't back up don't back up don't back up here yeah no hit it run around step step there you go back up back up back up uh, let's go ahead and do this again I feel like I struggled like this in my original Let's Play of this game as well, which is so weird. Like, why do I struggle at the Pirate Stronghold especially? I feel like maybe it's because I play so reckless and I get really impatient. So I end up, uh, screwing up a lot, <laughs> I guess. Alright, let's pick this up. And there we go, we finished this area. Hopefully we can find a chair to sit on or something to replenish my HP. Actually, I, I wouldn't worry about that too much. I'm pretty sure I have pots on me anyways, but... Oh my god, it looks... It, 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 yeah, wow, I'm stuttering so much. I'm gonna blame that on my sickness. I don't know why, I just can't form a sentence. Or words, I guess. But, that looks like a guy standing on top of, like, a, uh... Like, I don't know, it just looks like a cape instead of, like, a flag or something. I was, like, really excited. I'm like, oh my god, is that the stronghold captain guy? But it's not. So, report master time chip. Blah, 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 nobody cares. Okay, it opened up this door. Which, uh, is a good thing, because this will take us right out. We have to deal with our heart constantly beeping. Which, to me, is going to get rather annoying, but whatever. Alright, let's, uh... Oh my god, that looks so cool! Holy crap, check it out. This is how the pirate stronghold should look when the, uh, giant shark's mouth is open. I like how I accidentally looked up, which is going to lead to something. Yeah, you want to hookshot on this grappling spot and then over here and oh no you need to climb afterwards to get yourself a goddess cube so yeah on the top there's a box that will open up a chest somewhere in the sky let's see what it will be all right but yeah that over there this for some reason looked like a guy standing because of the flag that makes it look like a cape and then the horns i mean yeah how can you not mistake that for a person from far away it just seems like a guy, especially since it's not as big as the other uh, poles they have here. Let me look at it from far away now. Okay, well, I guess we need a little more distance because I can't actually see. Uh, but I do believe around here, I want to say there's like a chair, right? There's a convenient chair I can sit down on and completely replenish my HP. I don't know why I have a feeling, like a really strong feeling that there is. <clears throat> but I guess I'm wrong. Unless it's up here. Let me quickly... No, oh, okay. Whatever, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game. 
really quickly because we're going to start looking for the pirate stronghold. But I want to save because we're going to be taking out on in the next episode. So I just want to make sure my game won't corrupt. But yeah. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and by don't corrupt, I just mean in general. You know, I, I don't really think anything happens and nev never has... Have I ever had, like, an issue with my save? But I'm just doing it for the fun of it. I never really save. And, um... It's... Uh, I guess it's more complicated than what you may think. So this could be a clue to a ship, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, now we can douse for it. So to the sea. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I told us that. But... Yeah, okay, so yeah, let's just go straight to the sea and start dousing. So anchors away. But yeah, the only reason why I saved now, instead of like in any other episode, is for something that might not make sense. Wait, Fi didn't even tell us what we need to do. Oh my god, I didn't trigger it. That is really dumb on my part. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> Wait a second. That's funny. How, how does that happen? It's because I jumped. It's because I jumped from up there. You weren't supposed to do that, maybe. I want to say what you were supposed to do. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Okay. I have a feeling you're supposed to run across this bridge like this. And there, yeah, what the heck? Okay. That's weird how... F oh, it's because it's a part of the ship on the ground. And then remnants of the ship as well. So she's sensing it. That's interesting. And it's interesting how you can actually, like, I don't want to say exploit, but, like, kind of have the game not trigger a really important scene. But it might be my fault. Maybe the game really wanted you to investigate this area, but it doesn't make it that obvious with the whole pan shot. It just makes it look like you get a better view of everything. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's just go ahead and speak to Skipper now and set out for C. And I did realize... My ship wasn't here either. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, he's repeating now. So we got to play the dousing. Blah, blah, blah. This and that. Stuff and... Okay. Ready to sail? Sure. But now let me save again because I did a little more progress. Okay. So with that done, let's go ahead and speak to him now and hurry straight to the ship. We have to locate it. And it's going to be difficult. Not really. It might... It, okay. It either might take two seconds or it might take a hundred million hours. So, yeah. It depends. There's no middle of ground. So... How am I going to search? You have no choice, blah, 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 this and that. Uh, there's a high probability that the ship is currently hidden from our view. You know, crap. But if we attack it, we might be able to get a glimpse of it. <gasps> okay, so that somehow toggles it off. Now start our dousing. Okay. Whoa. My. Uh, what the hell is going on? Holy crap. Okay, can I can I fix my sensor? There we, there we go. Keep readjusting it, but it's not working. You know what? Let me just. Let me redo this. There we go. All right, thank you, game. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so we are dousing for the ship, and oh, all right. Oh my God, when you when you go in first person, the music turns off, so you just hear the motor of the ship. That's so weird. Okay. Luckily, I can hit these guys without hurting myself. So I want to stay dousing, and I don't want music to play because I need to focus. On where the ship is, so it's gonna be over there. I need to like somehow swim all around this area. All right, okay, turn around like this. There we go. And now, up. Oh, okay. So I highly suggest not to get hurt when doing this, especially when you are lo as low as I am. But yeah, once the ship is centered on the screen and you're heading straight towards it, uh, just keep going until it gets bigger and continuously blinks. All right, so is it gonna get bigger? Bigger, bigger. <gasps> oh God, it's literally forward in front of us. We're gonna see it soon, oh geez. Where is it? We are slowly approaching it, I think. How far is it, God? Uh, oh, there we go, now it's getting bigger. So take out your cannon and start shooting. There we go, we got it, straight up. And now it's gonna start trying to escape. Did you see that? Whew. Uh, that's my ship, no way. We must pursue it. I believe it's... What the heck? Where'd it go? Oh, you talked for way too long, man. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, see? Oh, oh, the reticule is, like, messing up. Because it knows it's there. Alright, we did it. And now it's time to climb the sand ship. This is the next temple within the game. This is actually my favorite one within the game. So, yeah, and that view, holy crap, that looked amazing. But, get ready as Link scales the ship. So next time we're going to be taking on the next temple. 
within the game, which is my favorite. Get ready for that. I'll see you all then.